doing so i thought today i would come on here and show you guys what i purchased um just only a few items but we're gonna play around in them as well so i'll give you guys a few minutes to get on i'm gonna open up my tablet um, just so that way i can chat with you guys Okay, so um, I ended up picking up some acrylic paints that I saw from Walgreens. Um, I was kind of intrigued only because I've been looking for some paint pots. Hi, Laura. How are you? Um, I've been looking for some acrylic paint pots, you know, to kind of work more on my line work a little bit more. Um, so I saw these. Hi, Alexis. How are you? I saw these and I was like, well, let me try these out. So that's what we are going to do. Hi, Jamie. Welcome. And also, huh, right, funny story. If you guys saw my um, vlog, as you guys know, I am getting a pedicure bench built in this room. Um, uh I need to go to Michael's so that way I could spend my $10 free gift card. I mean, reward. So I ended up going in there and I picked up three of these. So I'll tell you about that in a minute. Um, hi, Jeanette. I'm doing good. How are you? Hi, Abby. Hi, Bianca. So I kind of wanted to play in these acrylic paints today, um, along with these brushes that I bought a while ago from Walmart. Um, so yeah. So these were some specialty glitters that I picked up. Normally I pick up the regular chunky glitters, but I thought this would be really cute seeing as how Easter is coming up. And then of course, I mean, you can obviously use these for Valentine's Day if you wanted to, or just any regular day. And then I saw these, which were very bright and festive. So I ended up using my $10 reward on these and I only paid two dollars and seventeen cent out of pocket obviously because of the tax and the price difference so I thought these were really 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 cute and also you can encapsulate these with acrylic nails oh what's that one so um yeah thought these were super cute i can't wait to use these to encapsulate some acrylic nails but easter it's gonna be cute i'll open up and show you the other one. Oh yes the cold weather in texas i know i am so sorry for you guys that are down in texas experiencing that uh, we still have snow here in illinois but Obviously, we're the windy city and we're kind of used to the snow and we have tons of snow plows and all that other good stuff. So we didn't experience the same stuff as you guys did. So, but my prayers and thoughts are with you and everyone in Texas experiencing that awful stuff. Okay, um, here is the pink and red hearts. Hi, Nicole. So I got those. And then the last one that I got was this uh, specialty glitter. Like I said, it has some stars, some like flowers, circles, hearts. Um, again, good for Easter, spring. Can't wait for this weather to break. <laughs> I think we all can't wait for the, <laughs> the weather to break around the world. Um, not that we can do too much, but at least you probably can go outside in your backyard or sit on the porch or, I don't know, do something outside safely, mask on six feet away. You know, COVID still is out here, <laughs> but it'll be nice to have some warmer weather. So I picked these up 
just because they were something different from Michael's. Again, it includes like some circles, hearts, some little flowers. Um, it does have some stars in it as well. So yeah, I thought it was something different, especially when you do um, acrylic nails, you can definitely encapsulate these because these are kind of thin enough to do so. So again, I used my $10 rewards from shopping at Michael's so much. And these were, I think, $3.99 a pack, so four, eight, twelve, and then I end up paying the difference, like I said, which was two dollars and some change. So I definitely love those. I will add these to my acrylic collection. I won't add them to the glitter collection because I probably won't use these with my glitter acrylic powders. So um, yeah, oh, and if you guys haven't already. Um, I did purchase uh, or post my glitter acrylic mixes for purchase um, on my eBay store. So make sure you check those out if you are interested. Um, I actually just dropped off seven orders today, um, this morning. So if you're interested, make sure you check the link um, down below. And I will actually put the uh, name of my eBay store. Um, if you just type in... Uh, Ms. Red 7 on uh, eBay, you should find my store. If you're interested in purchasing free shipping, um, the acrylic powders are ready to go. All you have to do is um, use your monomer and you're ready to go and you can start applying your acrylic. So this is one of them, which is called Millionaire, which is a nice gold bling color. And then this one is Blue Ivy, which is all ready to go. The clear acrylic is already mixed in it. Like I said, all you have to do is um, use your monomer and you're all set. Just don't forget to encapsulate. So, all right. So here we go. So these acrylic paints, um, like I said, I saw at Walgreens. And I was like, let me just try them out because I wasn't sure um, how they would really work. Um, hi, Martha. How are you? Hi, Chanel. Yes, New York has some bad weather as well. <laughs> hi, anime girl. Uh, yes, the containers are two ounces and I have 1.8 ounces of product inside of the containers. So yeah, so here is the acrylic paints. Hi, Victoria. How are you? Um, so these are the acrylic paints that I saw and actually let me get my brushes that I had purchased because I wanted to use those with some line work. So this one, because they had grips on them. This brush. This brush, this brush. I think that's all of them that I have. actually just going to pull out my my brushes anyway so here's another one because I wanted to compare the use of the brushes anyway so we'll put that over to the side my for the acrylic paints and I'm gonna get some nail swatches any particular color you guys want to see, um, see me paint the nails. Give me some nail swatches out. And my nail lamp is already plugged up. Let's see gel polish. What do we have here? I have tons of gel polish. that burnt summer is pretty and New York Islanders is really pretty let's do some lotus flower bomb let's do 
I like these two together, but it looks like we uh <laughs> might do like a gender reveal. <laughs> but it's all right. These just give me like warm for the summertime. Give me a color, guys. Oh, look at this shine bright. Now that's a pop of color, all right. Caribbean Island. What color? A bubble gum for a screen. Unicorn Lovely. Neon. Okay, so shine bright. Do you use that acrylic paint on the nails and cure it too? So I've never used this acrylic uh, acrylic paint yet. Um, so we will actually be testing that out today. So she said neon, we're gonna roll it. Neon and nude. Okay, let me, let's go back here. Let's do this eggshell. Grab that. And eggshell. Hello, Alicia. So we're going to try that out. Um, just like she said, using the uh, using that. You can't really cure acrylic paint, but you can definitely let it dry. So. That's what I'm going to do. So let's go ahead and get a coat on here. And actually, I'm going to get my cordless drill, my nail lamp. Let's go ahead and plug that in there. Let's hit that for 60 seconds. And let's do this other one as well. Because if these acrylic paints work just as just as great as the um, as the paint pots, you can definitely um, save money by getting a whole package of these. And this was three ninety nine. So you know I'm all about saving that coin, but I want to see if saving that coin is worth it. So that's what we do. I'm gonna do another 60 seconds only because I popped in that second um, swatch stick. Okay, and make sure you roll your polish. Don't shake it, roll it. Okay. So we got a nice nude. Do our shine bright. All right, so I'm gonna Let me grab some scissors because this is oh, it's just taped on the back of here, but it's all right. Just gonna do another 15 seconds while I'm still trying to take this tape off. Um, I got some apple barrel acrylic paint. Yes, I had some of that, but I had actually got rid of that, and I shouldn't have. But um, that would have been my next brand to go to. But I kind of wanted to see how this would work first. So yes, for that uh, apple barrel. 
acrylic paint. How do you like it? Um, Martha Scar said, do you use the acrylic paint the same as nail paint and cure it? So, um, this acrylic paint, you don't need to cure. And it looks like you might only need one coat. But I always like to do two. But look at that. I'm going to put that in there for 60 seconds. Oh, you haven't used it yet? Well, let me know how you like them. So that way I can go purchase them. Because I think they have that at Walmart as well. But they sell Apple Barrel. Um at any craft store, but I've mostly seen it at Walmart. Okay. Hi, Christian. How are you? Okay. So I'm just going to apply top coat on here because if we do happen to mess up and I happen to use like some acetone to get rid of the acrylic um, paint, I still want my paint to be here. So we're going to top coat that. summer with this cover okay so we're gonna wait a minute hi yo yo how are you do 60 seconds no matter what because you want that to fully cure yes it is a pretty yellow it's called shine bright that's definitely a hello summer color so I do have a question for you guys while we're still waiting on my polishes to cure how do you guys feel when you go into a nail shop and you're looking for a color? Do you say, I'll try whatever color because it doesn't matter to me? Or do you play it safe um, due to your skin tone or you know your preference for color? Do you not like a certain color? Um, you know, because my sister, we were having this discussion, um, me, myself, um, I don't care what color it is. I'll try it. Um, and then if obviously if I don't like it, I'll just say, eh, I won't use it again. But her, she'll say, oh, no, I'm not going to use a burgundy or I'm not going to use a brown because of my skin tone. Or I'm not going to do a white because it just makes my hands look ashy. Like, how do you guys feel about that? I think that's a nice question to ask because... Um, I just want to know what you guys particularly think. Doesn't matter what color you get. Are you more um, outgoing to try whatever color? You know? So. I just thought it would be a nice um, 
question not to you know get on skin tones or anything like that but you know okay so let's see all right we got the answers rolling in yes this yellow is popping <laughs> um chris janine says i already have an idea of what i want and then i go in and see a different color and then my mind changes fast <laughs> agreed um Daisy says, I like to play it safe to my skin tone, LOL, to be honest. I'm like that. It's okay. It's a preference. You, so you you are just like my sister, which is perfectly fine. Um, Victoria says, I go for whatever mood I'm in. I agree. Um, Bianca says, I go for whatever looks pretty. I agree. Um, Abby says, she likes bright neon colors and glitters. Um, Laura says, it depends on how I feel. Alexis says, I'm open to anything at least once. I agree. So I, I agree with all of you guys that have responded to my question. Uh, sometimes, you know, it does depend on how you feel. Like in the winter, in the winter time, do you guys stick to like winter colors? Just like the fall time? Do you stick to like browns, nudes, dark purples, magentas? And then in the summertime, you guys go bold like this neon, bright orange, and hot pink. And, you know, do you guys do that? Because actually, this isn't a bad combination in itself. These look good together. So Bianca says, yeah, I keep it seasonal. <laughs> I agree. Just like how they say, oh, you're not supposed to wear white after Labor Day. Who made that up? So, I mean, it's okay. <laughs> All right. So, we have our two colors. Um, I'm definitely going to pull out some black and white for sure. I like this blue. Um, let's see. Uh, Alexa says, I love being uh, colorful. So seasons don't matter too much to me. I agree. <laughs> Chris Jolene says, I don't even care about the seasons. Okay. <laughs> I agree. You know, I just thought that I would, I would ask to see. Um, so, yeah. Okay. So, I think I'm going to pull out some blue. I don't know. Maybe some brown for this tan burnt sienna burnt number let's do some yellow i don't know y'all i'm feeling like almost every color in here but let's go that route first okay we can try a few so with this um nude nail i want to try this burnt umber so um it seems like it has some metal here not that you could pick it up with your nails not like i have any nails at the moment so on the top it has this little um piercing tool so i'm just going to put it in there and obviously there we go it opens up the acrylic so also what i'm going to do is let me wipe this down with some acetone real quick just to make sure it's all nice and clean Uh, Erica says, I like to look first to see what jumps out of me, but if I get a design, then it's all on the artist. Okay. All right. So, so there's the brown. Um, to me, it seemed like it had a liquidy consist consistency at first when... I um, poured it out. So there's some black. And let's open up the white. Okay. 
I'm just putting a little dab of each so we can see how well we're gonna do that. And we'll, we'll save those. So I'm also gonna get me a small dab and dish. Uh, let's put that here. Not that I'll be able to clean acrylic paint with monomer, I mean, not monomer, acetone, but we are sure gonna try. Cause I don't have no water in here to like wipe it off. And let's go ahead and use our new brushes that we got. So I think I'm going to go with this long one right here. And then I'm gonna go with the shorter one, which is this one here. So let's use those two for now. And then I want to grab my McCart liners. That's not the shortest one. This is the shortest one. So we're gonna grab those just to kind of compare. And I think this is the longer one. I thought I had one more longer one. I did, which is this yellow. So we'll put those three down. glitter so obviously I'm going to clean my bristles just to make sure it's good Sorry, my phone is going off so much. Let me go ahead and put this on silent. Okay, so you did that. You got a nice little point here. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put some gloves on just in case this gets a little messy. And it stains my hands. So let's do that. go with this brown first I'm just trying to see the consistency of the brush Let's try to do some outline. So, it's definitely this particular brand to me seems water based. To me. Which is why it's thin. So it's not as thick as a regular paint. Um, I do know that that Apple Barrel um, acrylic paint has a thicker consistency. So yeah, you see? can actually compare because um, I'll grab my other gel paints that I have I just wanted to look at the acrylic paints I mean I'm sure you can get away with it but not as much so see it's real thin it's not a thick consistency 
Okay, so let's see this. Let me... If you guys remember me doing the reviews on these gel paint pots so here's a brown I'm gonna grab that for now and I have I haven't opened this whatsoever tweezers I wouldn't call them tweezers but so we can open this up okay so what I'm going to do I'm going to use some acetone and I just took off so let's get this smaller one so we're gonna go in the gel paint pot just going to start by making a line so obviously you can tell this is a thicker consist consistency So, but, right, so as I'm thinking about this, with the acrylic paints, you know, I already applied the top coat. So I wonder if it's because I applied the top coat that it was a thin consistency, or is it that this brand is just water-based? So these are questions that I have. But that's the whole reason for me like buying the acrylic paints is to test them out. So we're gonna make like some little blobs. So you do have these same paint pots. Nice. Hi, Jamisha. Hi, Rachel. Can't wait to see a pedicure station. I know. I can't wait until it's done. I hope I'm not going to irritate him because I'm more hands-on. So I'm probably going to be like, let me get in there. Let me do this. <laughs> so...
Hi, Natalie. Okay, so we did some like little blobs. So to me, it seems like the gel paint pots, if you're going for, for a thicker consistency, um, I would recommend those. Um, I'm gonna go back to the um, acrylic paints because I want to see if that could pop, could potentially be the reason why. So let's just white, or like I said, it's probably just the brand. Cause it's so thin. I mean, they work. You just gotta add extra. Uh, extra off to them. So yeah, they work. You just gotta add layers on layers on layers. <laughs> That's the second layer. So yeah, there's like the third, the third layer. So it works. Just gotta take your time. Let's put some blue in here. Somebody says they want to try stamping. I love stamping. <laughs> you 
<laughs> you need training wheels. We all have training wheels. Eventually, once you get good at something, they will come off. So, it's all a process so yeah I'm not too much filling the acrylic paints because this particular brand has to be water based it has to be okay so just wanted to try out some things let me grab another color Let's go black. Let's see if I can go over here. I don't want to puncture it. That's why I'm trying to get them off without puncturing a hole in it. But sometimes it's just meant for you to puncture a hole in it. But I think we got a winner. Do you guys have any gel paint pots that you recommend? Or that you've tried? And this black almost looks gray.
I'm just going to cure that. So to me, it looks like the um, acrylic paints that are from Walgreens are definitely more water-based than I thought that they would be. They don't have too much of a thicker consistency. Um, but I mean, I'm sure they will work just fine. Let me see something. Nope. So even without polish, they're still um, thin. So I just took a clear um, a clear swatch that doesn't have anything on it, and it's still thin. See, so it's not a thick consistency. So we will definitely. Hold on to these because I'm not going to give them away at the moment. We're going to find some use for them to work. Um, let me try one more thing. Let me try just a base coat with a tacky layer to see if they will um, adhere to the tackiness of the nail. So let's try that. It's all about trial and error. Get products that you can work with, or if they don't work at first, obviously we need to find a way to make them work. Or if you guys know any tips and tricks to hold the water-based um, acrylic paints. Let's do 60 seconds. Um, Try putting them in monomer and see what happens. Try putting what in the monomer? The paint. Okay. So let's let's try that. So let's come back and let's get the brown. Let's clean this brush. All right, so this only has base coat on it. And it still looks like it won't even pick it up. But well, let's see. Yep, still thin. Yep, still. Right. 
So that part doesn't work. Um, she said, because I've seen people put gel polish in my mirror and almost, and it almost makes them acrylic powder, but with monomer. Oh, I've done it before. I have made, um, I put gel polish in the monomer and used clear acrylic, and it actually turned the monomer the color of the polish, so that way it's like a nail hack. Okay, so I am definitely glad that I have um, experienced with these acrylic paints um, to know that they are more so water-based. Um, I definitely wouldn't use these on nails um, only because it doesn't have a thicker consistency for nails. Um, but I'm going to hold on to these because you might find something to use with them. Um, I will still continue to use my paint pots like I have been using on the nails. Let's go in. But see, it's almost better just to use gel polish. Gel paint and gel polish can potentially be the same thing. Oh, yeah but this has a thicker consistency but I just wanted to try those out and see how well they worked um, so even it's like um, here let me wipe this off let me see just gonna use this okay so let me just for the sake of this video I'm gonna grab some gel polish and I'm going to put that down here here so I just want to see if it's a the same consistency obviously lacquer is different So, I would rather either use the gel pots or just use some gel polish because it all works the same. And it goes on way better. Okay, well, at least we know, or at least I know, you guys might have already known. So definitely the gel polish is great. The gel paint pots are great. Um, this particular brand, like I said, is from Walgreens, which again, 
which is why it's $3.99. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to hold on to them, though. Maybe you guys can tell me what other things I could use with them. But in the meantime, in between times, because, you know, it's always a trial and error. And I appreciate you guys for rocking with me. Um, I am going to do a giveaway at this moment. Um, I've said it before where I am doing giveaways in my lives. Um, just because I like to do random stuff. So I have 10 people in here. Um, what I am going to have each one of you to do is com uh, comment in the comment section a number between 1 and 30. And the person that gets the closest to the number that I have will win a D&D &D, um, gel, gel polish duo set. It is in the um, color Sandcastles. So it's this peach color that you guys will be winning. Um, again, this giveaway is going to be real quick because I appreciate every single one of you guys for tuning in. And you've actually stayed to the end of the video. So let's go ahead and do it. So all 12 people, please put a number between 1 and 30. I already have a number in my head. Um, this will be U.S. shipping only because I will be shipping this out to you guys. So please comment a number between 1 and 30. Um, I am going to give you guys um, two minutes. Set timer for two minutes, please. All right. So I'm going to give you guys two minutes total. Put a number down there. We're going to do a giveaway real quick because I love you guys. And I definitely have more giveaways in my lives coming up. You just never know. Um, so, yes, if you're interested, please comment a number between 1 and 30. While I clean up my mess. And what not. And then my alarm will go off to let me know when it's time. I appreciate you guys so far. I only got two entries. <laughs> and if, if it stays at these two, these two entries, then... Um, I will pick the person that's closest to my number. Put this up. Put. I drop that. <laughs> Okay, so these nail swatches will go in the All right <laughs> timer is up so i only had three entries hold on i'm gonna refresh this um i had alexis rodriguez with 17 natalie with 16 laura with 24 so the number that i have in my head is number 26 and the reason why i picked 26 is because that is actually um my birth date um so that means laura you are um the winner congratulations uh please dm me on instagram right now at this moment just so that way um, i know it's you because there are a lot of people 
um, that claim to be people, make fake Instagram pages, um, and whatnot. So, please go ahead and inbox me, and I will get you out. Get you out your uh, price. But thank you all for watching. I'm actually going to clean this up. And um, I am going to come back. And we're probably going to do a viewer's choice. We're going to do a set of acrylic nails. You guys will have the opportunity to pick what we are going to do. So stay tuned for that. Again, thank you all for tuning in, watching sharing subscribing all that good stuff i appreciate every last one of you again there will be more giveaways in my lives they're just at random um just to show my appreciation so other than that um if you guys have not shopped my um website it is linked in the description box below um on ebay i do sell glitter acrylic mixes so please head on over there if you are interested, they're all set and ready to go. All you have to do is crack it open, get your monomer together, and boom, you have you a nice glitter acrylic mix. No need to add anything to it. It's all ready to go. Until next time we meet and see each other again, stay safe, subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow me on Instagram at I am Biscuit 7 Share these videos, and I will see you guys in my